is when, um, I, when I'm in defence and I just get to smash people. Our team's all great and it's um, very good and I'm happy I'm on this team. <laughs> and who have we got next to you? Um, Eddie, Harry, Evan and Sam. <laughs> and then <laughs> Harry, Louis, Declan and Dex. <laughs> If you like getting competitive and um, having fun, which is number one priority and physical, as Harry said. Um, I'm very good. I'm very dirty. Um, you should you should come. Kids just love it. It's all about fun, making every session fun for them, and then teaching them the basic skills, and then carrying on until they they get into competitive play later on. You know, when they're older. We will take on anybody if they haven't played rugby before. I mean, me myself, I got into into rugby very, very, very late. Um, when was and that? Uh, when I was basically in my late forties, I decided to join. Um, I'd never been to a rugby match at all, and um, then and now I'm a coach. I'm a coach with New Age Callback. So, it, you know, it's just it's just about getting everybody involved, really. Um, it doesn't matter what age they are; everybody's welcome. Something like I say to them every training session is about having fun, play as a team, yeah, rugby's not an individual game, it's a team game, if they go home with a smile on their faces and talk to them when dad's ears off when they're driving home, that's what it's about for me and if they, if the parents come back to me and go, oh, they want to stop going on about that game or that training session and they love doing this and that's what it's all about, just keeping them happy really and as long as they're having fun. Um, my nephew played, so my nephew played um, for from juniors all the way up and he plays for the 16s now uh, so I came down and it was kind of just came down watching him a lot then got to know people got talking to people and then soon as my lad wanted to play I was like right I know where we're going let's go down here really and never look back absolutely love it I don't think we've actually got any players from New Aeswick they've actually come from Clifton Moor, Rawcliffe a lot from Strensel, Huntington we, we get a good range around from York really um, it's not just it's not just New Aeswick people that live in New Aeswick, it's right around the city, which is really good to see. Uh, unfortunately, the game was cancelled due to the weather, um, so I just dropped everybody a message on Friday night saying, like, the game's cancelled, like, but I'm not, I just wanted to do something. Unfortunately, the, the, there was nowhere I could go to train, um, so I just said, look, why don't we all go bowling? So we all met up on Saturday morning. Uh, I mean, I've got 11 players, I think nine or 10 of them came bowling. They absolutely, they absolutely loved it. Uh, split into team, from a bit of a competition. Um, Elise actually plays for us and she's actually playing up a year. Um, and she actually smashed everybody. She actually, she beat, she beat the parent, she beat the rest of the team. Yeah. She's one to watch as Elise, definitely. She is, definitely, <laughs> yeah. She's, uh, she actually took um, home support as player of the year last year, uh, which is something I was really proud of her for. Um, I've known Elise since she was little, because again, her brother played with my nephew. So I've known Elise growing up and things. Um, and she's just, she's phenomenal. She, she plays up a year. Last year she was training two years up, but unfortunately she couldn't play. But she's still turned up all the time. My favourite part is when, um, I, when I'm in defence and I just get to smash people. Elise has been really working on fitness and everyone's fitness is getting better. Uh, since I was three. How old are you now? Uh, nine. When you go out there and you try, you've got a lot of gut to do that. Going out there and trying and playing against all those other people. When I get older, um, if I want to play for any team, I'd want to play for York Falcons.